Okay, in this video I want to show you how to leverage the assets provided by Kenny.nl. If you go to that website, this guy or group has a large set of images and audio files and 3D models for you to use with a public domain license so you can use them in commercial projects. So if you go to download assets, go to page 2. Uh, obviously you can browse around here for hours, but go download the modular buildings asset pack. And when you get it and you unzip it, it's going to look like this. It's going to have these things in it. The, the thing we care about is the Unity package because now I've never tried this. Let me try dragging and dropping it here. Let's see what happens. No, that's okay. But if we go to, uh, where is it? Assets import package, custom package. Let me go navigate to that. Looks like I just did that, but. Go navigate to that package. It's going to look like this. You're just going to scroll to the bottom. You don't have to scroll to the bottom. Just hit import. And it's going to put it in a folder, in your assets folder, for whatever project you're in. And I just made a new project 10 minutes ago before I made the previous video. You're going to get modular buildings here. That's how to import them. Now, how to use them is a little different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my few favorites out of this folder and then and that way we can see a little clearer what's really in here because this is pretty overwhelming if I'm being honest. So let's say, let's pick a few things that are somewhat consistent like this one for the ground floor. Where, what's, where's one for the ground floor? Here we go, this one. Put that in favorites and then round windows, this one for the second floor, favorites. Oh yeah. And let's give it a roof like this. So, oh, I put it out here on accident. Favorites. Okay, now Create a 3D plane and make it 20 by 20 and scroll up. Okay, let's give it a little bit of a material. In the last video, I showed you how to apply materials. Let's go concrete floor. It's not too bad. Cool. And then let's get started with these Kenny things. So. This one looks like a ground floor building. I just drag that there. Then let's put one of these out there too. But notice that it's not jumping right on top of that. And that's okay because we can then just go move it up a little bit. But probably the easiest thing to do is to reset the position of all these. Where'd it go? Oh, this plane is not on the... Okay, reset position. There we go. And reset position of this too, but then move it up. And I'm thinking like 6, no, 0.6, just about. Yeah, that's about right. Cool. Then let's get one of these in there and put it at the same place. Reset position, in this case 1.2. And let's get two more of those. One point eight and two point four. And a couple more. One of these. And just so you know, there's probably some easier way to, to snap these to the zero, zero position. I don't know what it is, but then uh, what should this be? One, oh, 3.0. And then finally, let's throw this on there. Mm 
These end up a little bit different. Oh, no, that worked. Some of the roofs are a little different. So that's pretty, I mean, that looks pretty awesome, too, if you ask me where to go. That was really fast, too. You can see it's, I mean, it's seamless. It looks great. Now, there's other things to show you, but I just want to show you that. It's, it's pretty easy. Oh, and then when I start the game, it just stands there because it's just a static mesh. So, actually, you can make them static, but you can click that to make them static. But since they don't have a rigid body, they're not going to fall through the floor or anything. They're just going to sit right there where they were placed.